guys, Megan here. Welcome back to the Butterbean Shop. I am going to be making rose quartz. This is an absolutely beautiful fragrance from Brambleberry. Oh my gosh. For those soap makers out there who have not gotten it, you have to get it. When I tell you it's by far the best smelling rose fragrance I have ever smelled, I'm letting you know it has like it has a rose in it but it has a bunch of like citrus notes to it a musky note it's so pretty very very pretty so with this soap I'm gonna do it in a pot swirl I am going to I made these little in beds these are um, melt and pour glycerin soap in beds and I made these and I kind of cut them into these little crystal shapes and made little ones I made big ones and that's going to be to decorate the top and I'm going to be using cosmic Carolyn from TKB trading and I'm going to be using activated charcoal I'm going to be uh, making this gray and um, in here I have my colloidal oatmeal and my kaolin clay and then in my lye solution, I have aloe vera juice, Tessa silk, and sodium lactate. So I'll go ahead and get started. I have to go get my um, my um, white, um, and then I have to get my milks out of the microwave because I heated them up just a little bit to take the chill off of them because they're really, really cold. Anyway, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I was not prepared, but now I am. So, I'm going to go ahead and put first put on my goggles or my glasses. And then I will go ahead and blend up my um, colloidal oatmeal and my kale and clay. So someone has asked me um, what my recipe is for my soaps and I'm not going to give you the percentages but I will give you the type of oil that I use in my recipe. So I use olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, coconut oil, butter, coconut, cocoa butter and uh, mango butter. I also use sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, rice bran oil and avocado oil. So I use quite a bit of different, oh, and, um, and um, castor oil. So I use quite a bit of different oils. I'm also going to, at this point, add in my milks, which are um, coconut milk and goat milk. So I put both in here today. Um, I ran out of goat milk powder. So, and I do have this goat milk that I want to use up before, you know, it goes bad. I am going to freeze some, but you know, fresh goat milk is really, really good for you. So I'm going to make sure I put that in there and then I will blend this up a little bit more before I add my lye solution. Oh my gosh, you guys, this fragrance smells so good. I'm just smelling it. Ugh amazing it does say that it accelerates a little bit I'm not sure I have never soaked with it before but you'll be able to see what happens right along with me so at this point I'll go ahead and I'll add my lye solution okay it's all in there and I will bring this to an emulsification All right, I don't want to blend too much because it does say that it accelerates and I am going to blend a little bit when I um, do my colors. So, uh -oh. <laughs> um, the majority of the soap is going to be light pink and I will be mixing the Cosmic Carolyn in with a little bit of... Um, um, white which is titanium dioxide 
And then I'll be doing a darker pink, which will be Cosmic Carolyn by itself. And then I'll be doing a gray, which will be Titanium Dioxide mixed with um, um, Activated Charcoal. Okay, so give this a little bit of a stir. I am soaping at room temperature. Okay. And I will pour off my colors now. Start with the light pink. I'm going to pour some in there. Okay. And then I will add a little bit of titanium dioxide. Let's we'll see what that looks like. I'll add the rest in here. Try to get all of that pink out. And then for this, I will add in the activated charcoal. So for blacks, I like to use activated charcoal because it is it adds, you know, it's an additive. So it's really, really good for your skin. It detoxifies your skin. So I like to use activated charcoal whenever I use black. So I will add a little bit of white to that. And then I will add, well, let me see what this looks like before I add my um, fragrance oil. All right, give this a little bend. I want this a little bit pinker and I want it a little bit lighter so I want to add a little bit of more pink hue and then I will add a little bit more white all right
just in various places oh you know what I'm gonna have to wait because it's not thick enough it's not thick enough yet to hold the weight of the crystals so I'll have to bring you guys back um, when this gets thicker see it's still I don't think it will hold Maybe so. Let's stick it down deeper. So there's really no rhyme or reason on how I put these in. They're going to be varying heights. Butterbean shop. This is Megan here. And I'm Jada. Here to, and Jada. That's my 14 year old, you guys. You guys have been introduced to my five year old, but you haven't been introduced to my 14 year old. And she was telling me about her day and how horrible it was because she couldn't go to the park with her friends. She couldn't go to the ice skating rink with her friends. I just want you guys to tell me something. If you have a teenager who's a freshman in high school, if they want to go somewhere, don't you think that they need to verify that with you prior to the day of the event? This is exactly why her answer was no, because she short noticed us. And her grandmother picks her up from school, and her grandmother is 70 years old and doesn't like short notice stuff. So if you want to plan an event, go ahead and leave it in the comments below about your experiences or what you would do or how you would handle that situation, because I don't think it's wrong. 
Anyway, let's get down to the business at hand, which is cutting the rose quartz soap. Oh, Jada, do you have something to say? Yes, I do. Enjoy the video. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> We're going to cut the rose quartz soap. And this is um, such a beautiful soap. Here's the top. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. Now, we are going to have a color morphing situation because when I split this loaf, <laughs> all the pink areas were yellow. And you'll see that when I cut it open. But as soon as the, it oxidized, meaning the air hit it, it took a couple minutes, but it changed. So, and um, I do have melt and pour embeds on the top. So, you're not supposed to cut melt and pour with um, this wire cutter. But... I, I'm using it anyway. I'm just going to be really, really careful. So like I said, here goes the end piece. It's just that this, this yellow area will turn pink. It just has to let the air hit it. I'll go ahead and leave pictures at the end so you guys can see um, the end result. But I just absolutely love this soap. It's so pretty. It smells so good. So feminine. This is a feminine soap, you guys. So... Unless your husband or your boyfriend or your son like feminine soaps, um, this is not the one for them. But if you love feminine fragrances, this is this is it. So I did do a in the pot swirl with this, and I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when that color turns pink. I'm excited. Any who's it? Yeah, so I'm dealing with Jada and her shenanigans. My daughter, yeah, her teenage shenanigans. <laughs> so, you guys with teenage girls know exactly what I'm going through. <sighs> I just want freedom, okay? I just want a social life. I don't even have that. Okay. You can have a social life. You just have to plan it. You have to plan your social life. Terrible, it's so hard. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard to be 14. The ice skating is so convenient because it's right across the street from my school and I couldn't even go with my friend. Because you have to plan it. Who's gonna pick you up? My grandma said she'll pick me up at two o'clock, but then she changed her mind. Exactly. Well, you don't she, have to think about that. Well, she obviously had something else to do, and I couldn't do it because I was working. So anyway, see people. That's that's the uh, that's what we have to go through. Parents of teenagers. Parents of teenagers. So yeah, I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when the colors actually come through and we can see. Um, so I did use a darker pink and a lighter pink. I'm interested to see the contrast between the two if you can see it. Um, but this is a color morphing fragrance so you won't be able to see the true soap until it um until it changes a little bit more so i also my log splitter was not wide enough so i had to cut down the top of the other loaf in order to split it this loaf is fine but the other loaf needed to be cut down a little bit Hi guys! Oh, there goes the five-year-old. <laughs> Her decoration fell off. Oh, you gonna put it back on the tree? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is the perfect size here. So this is an end piece that will need to be cleaned up. Okay, so here's the top of the other one. So it's fine, it's perfectly fine. It's just that some of the, the um, side pieces had to be cut down a little bit in order for it to go through the cutter, the splitter. Mommy, at the end. Yeah, at the end you can say it. Sailor wants to say something at the end of the cutting video. I just want to see how you're doing so far. I'm not going to touch it. Daddy's coming. I know. You hear daddy? Yes, I can hear. I can hear his keys. You can hear his keys or you can hear him stepping up.
stepping into the house. He doesn't care. Oh, you got your um, tags? Mm -hmm. Did you figure out what that charge was? No, how am I going to figure it out, dude? Like, how am I going to figure it out? I thought that you looked on your... It does not show. It says DoorDash something. And on nine ninety nine? Yes. Subscribe and also comment down below what which which soap do you want mommy to make on the next video. Guys, see you later. Bye. Bye guys, thank you.